Jimmy Neutron and his friend Carl were testing Jimmy's brand new invention, the Robo Locker. This is so good, it's a function at all, said Carl. Just then, Jimmy's mother called out, Change size and Neutron! You yeah, come inside right now! Jimmy raced into the house, running up, the st- up two steps at a time into his room. Carl followed just in time to hear Jimmy mom ass. How many times I have to tell you to pick up your pants? God, Jimmy said, turning to his dog. As his pants there, Carl's screen popped up and it flashed the number 51. I rest my case, Jimmy's mom said sternly. You were not able to go to the movies with your friends tomorrow night. But mom, explained Jimmy, I got to go. You have to learn to pick up your pants first. She reminded him, Pants don't pick up themselves, you know. After she left, left his room, Jimmy thought about his mother's words. Hey, that's it, Carla, he said. I could have found pants that would put themselves away. I just put nano chips inside. Are those the spicy ranch kind? Carla asked. No, those are your chips. Nano chips are microscopic supercomputers, Jimmy explained. A while later, Jimmy showed off his latest invention. Mom, Dad, I know but since my pants, he announced proudly. Everyone watched his pants jump towards the handle and hand her so up. No son, son, Jimmy's father explained. Jimmy grinned. I think this deserves the award for going to the movies. Well, you pants to get put away, his mother agreed. All right, you can go. That night, as Jimmy slept, a strange blue light began to shine in his wardrobe. His pants were glowing. The next day, Jimmy's pants began to move on their own. They drowned the bitch, show up, Sandy said. They had to make everyone do it. They miss a bitch, size smart guy. I'm not doing it, cried Jimmy. I put another chips in my pants, so the company so 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 then, but they seemed to be getting smarter. Jimmy's pants began to fiber inside a long shirt of Sandy's jeans and Carl's pants. The pants began to glow, making the kids jump up and down the race on the playground. Neutron, you got five seconds to tell me what's going on, Cindy demanded. She began to limbo uncontrollably. By pants are controlling low pants, cried Jimmy. They're alive! Jimmy fought quicker. I can fix this, he said. I simply removed the air ship, ship from my pants. But it was too late. Jimmy's pants had peeled off and they were running down the street. Carl, Sheen, and Cindy started up, but a few seconds later, those pants peeled off and followed Jimmy's pants. Come, Shane, to my lab immunity, Jimmy shouted. In the lab, the three boys trying to figure out where the pants were hiding. I think my pants are trying to get more pants under control, said Jimmy. My eyes slice out a new show, show where they are. Oh no, they're going to the house of blue pants, she shouted. They are marrying some pants right now. If they, if my pants are fed on the others, they could take over the world. Said Jimmy. We got to stop our pants, Jimmy said as they climbed into the hover car. How? asked Carl Rory. Easy, replied Jimmy. With my all the time and power pants seeking close spin and missiles. Jimmy shot close pins into the air and they pick up all the pants except for Jimmy's. His pants were nowhere to be seen. Inside the store, Jimmy's pants were busy running about the other pants. Jimmy liked the door, but it was not. Oh no! He cried. My pants are smudging me! Just then, Cindy ran up. That's a neutron! She demanded. My future pants aren't cute, you have an award to buy pants! Do something! I'm trying! Said Jimmy. I had to offend someone else. He grabbed his backpack, then dashed into Lucky Joe's Queen House. Five minutes later, Jimmy busts out of the Queen's with a new invention, the Longtron. Okay, pants! Jimmy yelled. It's time for you to get pro friends and eat stosh! Using the Longtron, he attacked the army of pants with iron, stosh, and fabric softener. Back at home, Jimmy's dad was watching TV. Good trigger butter! Jimmy's on TV! Indeed! He said. Oh my goodness! Jimmy from Gaps, we better go downtown! Jimmy watched his pants climb up the side of the building. Those darn smarty pants! How can I stop them? He wondered aloud. Then, brain blast. That's it! He said. If I could make another sound of Jersey, I could set my pants and they would be powerless. 
The boys thought that it was a will call a machine, roll out a large carpet. They made Jimmy made the charge back home, back and forth on the back on the course of stand electricity. It's hyper time, Jimmy yelled. He aimed a super launcher from the pole at his pants and fired. And just as he helped, they fell off the building. As soon soon the pants touched the ground. They stopped glowing, then all the other pants uh, stopped glowing too. The pants attack was finally over. You did it, Jimmy! said Carlo. Yeah, now we can go to the movies, Jimmy said. Not just that, Jimmy, said Familiar Boys. Now I need to pick out this, clean up this mess. Jimmy saw other at the piles of pants in the street. Mom! The end.